What's going on my baby family? Thank you guys for watching another video here from us at the club. As always, we want to wish you nothing but the best for you and your loved ones. I know that 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of us. So from my family to yours, I want to wish you nothing but the best. I know with winter now also approaching, your riding uh, might be less and less. But heck, put a coat on and go out riding guys. Just make sure you always do it safe. On today's video, I wanted to talk about something that has been um, coming up on and off on our Facebook group. People asking about uh, what can I do to change the clamp on my scooter and how can I help with uh, preventing some of the squeaky noise on it. So today's video is going to be about clamps. The clamping mechanism that is part of our scooter so we can fold them down. Now, this right here is the one that you will most likely get as a stock clamp on your scooters like the Zero 10X, the Turbo Wheel Lightning Plus, the Apollo Pro, um, the Bexley scooters, the Tech Life scooters. So I'm not a fan of it. I'm just gonna come up and say it. I'm not a fan of this at all. I hope somehow in the future, the manufacturers will decide to use something different than this. Um, I consider this specific mechanism not optimal in my opinion. As always guys, I can only share my opinion as a rider. I'm not an expert, I'm not a seller, I'm not a manufacturer of scooters, but on my riding experience and for what I notice on, on the groups as well on Facebook, um, this is not optimal for your scooter. So again, that's just my opinion. You do with it as you wish. So this one here is again, the one that it comes stuck with a lot of our scooters. This one here is the one I purchased for my Zero 10X and um, I took it out just for the purpose of this video, I uninstall it. So this is the Rugged Clamp, the heavy duty Rugged Clamp. Uh, Falcon PEV, I believe Falcon PEV makes this. I bought mine from Red Rides where I buy all my scooters. But I believe also if you contact your seller like uh, uh, E-Wheels, which I, I heard wonderful things about them, Apollo, uh, from Canada as well, um, Bexley and Australia, they will be able to help you with this. Also, I have seen this on AliExpress, this specific model. Uh, you can go with a colorway, you can get all black, you can do all different colors, I believe. I'm not a fan of AliExpress, they have all kinds of stuff, but it takes 27 years to get them here. Gosh, it takes too long. So, but you guys can see the difference here. This is a lot, a lot beefier, a better option. Um, it holds down your, your mechanism and the stamp itself a lot tighter, a lot nicer. So I highly recommend this one. So the ones that I will be installing on today's video for my Zero 11X are these two tanks right here. These tanks are heavy, by the way. This thing is actually super, super heavy duty in my opinion. Uh, this was recommended by one of my friends on our Facebook group as well. He's a member on our Facebook group, Freddy the Stylist at the 305 Miami, Florida. So thank you, Freddy, so much. Freddy writes a Turbo Wheel Lightning Plus, and this brother writes it. He writes it every day, guys. He writes it like a horse. He is on this thing to go to work. So if, if someone knows stuff, it's Freddy. So thank you again, Freddy, so much. This one's here. I painted it myself in black because it comes in the traditional steel color, you know. So I highly recommend them. I will be installing this too. Now, one thing I will share with you guys as well is if you like to fold down your scooter quite often, just keep in mind, you have to undo the screws on this one. That's why I'm adding this to my Zero 11X, which it will never be folded. I just don't see myself folding that beast of a scooter, 130 pounds, no thank you. So I'm switching the stuck ones for this too. And I'm sticking with this for my Zero 10X. When I do fold it, I do it sometimes. So thank you guys again for watching this video. Enjoy the installation of these two heavy duty clamps. So see you at the end. We are going to start by removing the two bolts that attach our dual posts 
to the base of our scooter. Next, we are going to gently slide up the stock clamps so we can fold down the front post of our scooter. Next, we are going to lift up the front post to detach him from the base so we can remove and slide out the stock clamps. Now we are going to reattach the front post to the base of the scooter. Make sure to align the holes where the bolts are going back into. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and become part of our PEV family. Thank you in advance. This part goes without saying, so please do make sure that the two bolts are nice and tight to the best of your abilities. Now we are going to unfold the front post so we can place our new clamps. One thing I will recommend that it will make this process a lot easier is to have someone else hold the front post for you. Now one thing I want to share with everyone, this steel clamps that I got from my 011X, they have six Allen key screws so do make sure that they're tightened to the best of your abilities. Now we are going to place the other one and do the same process of tying all six Allen key screws and then you'll be done. All right, my PEV fam, there you have it. I just finished installing my two new heavy duty clamps. These things are not going anywhere. They're solid steel and for $50 for the two of them, if you own a 011X, this is a no brainer to me. Going from this to that, it's gonna be nine day when it comes about the safety of this potentially breaking, being more uh, solid and um, the steering columns, both of them. So. Again, this is just my opinion. I will give you an update if I notice something uh, down the road, if I something that I don't like about it, I will come back and post another video uh, to let you guys know if there's something I notice I don't like about it. But uh, so far it looks good. So I look forward to having more stability on my 011X from now on. Um, again, guys, 
Thank you so much for watching all of our videos. Uh, this is a family venture. We enjoy doing this. I enjoy putting things together. I enjoy upgrading our scooters. So hopefully it's helpful to some of you. I do not claim myself to be any expert by any means. So if you have any suggestions for me uh, for upgrades or anything that you think I can learn from, please, please always uh, send them my way. And last but not least, guys, I appreciate you so much for supporting the channel this far. Please like, share, and please subscribe to our channel so I can continue to make more videos like this. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, any comments that you have, just ask away. I also welcome you into our Facebook group, uh, PEV Riders Club. There will be a link on the description below as well. So thank you guys so much. Please ride safe, have fun doing it, and I'll see you on the next one. Carlos out.